I'm here mainly this morning to speak in regards to the Honorable Rene Montero and his family and um, the subsequent again land grab that has been taking place not only within the Cayo Central area but um, I also have some evidence here of quite a bit of land on San Pedro. I'm going to start with the San Pedro lands, all right? Um, Alejandro Montero, four acres, North Hamburgers. Again, Rene's family, direct brother. Okay, Miguel Montero, 10 acres, North Hamburgers. Again, four acres, Miguel Montero, San Pedro Tongue. North of San Pedro and Borges, Alejandro Montero, another brother. Samuel Montero, four acres, San Pedro Tongue. Again, eight acres, Rolando Montero, brother. All right, North and Borges Key. Rene Montero himself, 10 acres, north of Hamburgers. Um, Jaime Montero, five acres north of, Mon uh, north of Hamburgers, and there's more and more. And this is only, again, ladies and gentlemen, the tip of the iceberg. Rolando Montero, 18 acres in the Iguana Creek area. Again, 71 acres, Iguana Creek again. And these are, these lands, quite sadly, are lands that, and leases that were cancelled from people, taken away from farmers. And these farmers, I have some of their names here, these farmers have come to me time and time again, crying and complaining that their lands have been taken away from them. What can they do? Okay? Again, we have, again, we have Rolando Montero, Iguana Creek, 77 acres. Rolando Montero again. Iguana Creek, 130 acres. Igua then Rolando Montero again, Hicks Key, five acres. Then we have Rolando Montero again, five acres in the Mountain Pine Ridge. I speak again to the Guerra family who had their generational land taken away from them, where that host this family. Let me speak clearly. These guys, this house was built before I was even born by Mr. Guerra. He reared all his children, gave the land to his daughter. This land was taken away again by Gaspar Vega and Rene Montero and given to one of Gaspar Vega's. I won't even bother to mention that.